back. I haven't spoke to you in ages. Like these past few weeks, I've been going through a lot. So I've kind of been off YouTube. I don't really like stressing myself being on social media when I know I can't handle it. A bitch is back. My birthday is coming up next week. With me, I'm not gonna lie. I celebrate my birthday every year. I don't know how people say they can't celebrate their birthday. Like, <laughs> why are you not excited? No, well. It's your birthday, as in this is the day you were birth. This year, I decided to have a, like a party. <laughs> you didn't get the call up. You didn't get the call up. And once you see the vlog, you're gonna wish you got the call up. You're gonna wish you got the call up. Every time my makeup gets done for my birthday, I do not like it. Like I'll be looking like some. Listen, I will just switch up. You know when you just have that MUA that can beat your face for your birthday, and you know it will bang. I don't have that. I'm not trying to put any trust in no one i can't look off i've spent too much money to look off i am basically going to do my birthday makeup practice my birthday makeup i've been buying new makeup i've got each on my laptop i've just been watching her her skincare everything and everything i've been buying you see me don't let me watch a makeup video because what they're using i'm going to get even if i have something the same and they're not using it i'm going to get what they're getting that's why i don't like watching makeup videos because i will get it i've been banging out her updated foundation routine this is included skincare and obviously how she beats her face her makeup is always flawless so i thought why not why not try to do my own birthday makeup this year i think i done it two years ago but when i done it two years ago i wasn't really fussed because i wasn't really doing anything big so i didn't really plan to do birthday makeup up this year it wouldn't be big and my face needs to be beat and let me show you the new products that i got in all honesty i promise you some of these products i don't know what it is for but i've got it because she has it she got this glossier future do oil serum which i bought why because she has it and she said it's so good so if it's so good why don't i have it i bought this build techniques brush if you don't have seen my makeup routine before i use a more heavier blush brush and she uses a smaller one i was thinking okay maybe i need to get a smaller one probably don't but <laughs> she did it i did it all my days i've been wanting this for time the fenty contour if you know me i'm a fenty baby i'm a fenty darling so i had to get this fenty contour stick in the color espresso so i got this vitamin c eye thing you guys know in my other videos i've been saying i want to kind of get rid of my dark circles around my eyes and i think it's kind of going yeah that's because of this thing here okay i've got this glossy invisible sunscreen you know black girls have to wear sunscreen when i started adding stuff to my basket i said <laughs> <laughs> Your stuff ain't cheap, you know. Makeup adds up. Got a small one because my friend said that she's gonna get it for my birthday. So. <laughs> I got this moisture surge spray. I got this hydrator. So I think this is just, you know, hydrating your face and stuff. I got this Huda baking setting powder. I feel like a lot of people have started using this two step priming process this is not necessary however a lot of people have purchased a setting spray of my recommendation absolutely love it you know what i hear about some videos you say this is not necessary but this will be the key step to making your makeup look flawless it is necessary and you know what? i'm going to purchase that that is why i hate makeup videos because i'm going to purchase even if you say it is not needed i'm going to get it why because you added it in your step and i need my makeup to look like your makeup so she uses three pumps three pumps that like, all across her face. Adiola, when I roll with the geezer, she used two primers, Charlotte Filbert or something. Charlotte, something. I'm not gonna lie, that I think that was the only step I skipped. Two primers, I'm primed. Then I follow with my Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray that she got. I didn't buy that because it was how much was it? Twenty six pounds, and there was no way on earth I was going to get that. So I'm literally going to use my Fenty setting spray. Now we're about to do foundation. So she does her foundation first. Okay, babe, that's what I'm not gonna do. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. There is no way on earth that I can do my eyebrows after I do my foundation because I'll look more than stupid. The only difference I'm gonna do today is when each had done her makeup, she patted her foundation. Our foundations are way more. <laughs> Product stays where you need it to stay. My foundation is already done. Uche told me to tap. I did so. 
Can I see a difference? Not really. Um, in fact, I think my face look a, looks a bit dry, but I don't think that's her fault. I think that's a me problem. Zila. Okay, so each hair is using the exact one concealer that I'm use that I normally use, which is the Butterscotch Born This Way concealer. The only thing is that you lots already know when I do my foundation, I do my concealer. I use a darker one first. So I'm gonna just try and learn today. I'm gonna skip that step too. So she's literally like, oh my god. If this makeup don't bang, it's calm. It's calm. I just know someone's doing my makeup that day. So this is my face. I look like an absolute clown. And then she looked, she used like a little lighter one, which I can use, which is probably my last one. And she did, lets her concealer like dry on her face. So as she's letting it dry, she's gone to go put her contour. This is very, very new to me. I do not do my makeup like this. Put it like. <laughs> Woo! This is how I do my makeup. She put it like her. Oh, she put on her neck. Big girl. You love a contour, innit? Are you say uses like a blending brush to kind of like dab her contour. <laughs> I'm already seeing like a difference in my makeup. It looks very clean. I can't lie. I normally snatch my contour around hair. Then she told me to do some lip thing. So you know how I put the contour on my lip? Like it's just giving my lips a bit more volume, you know? So now she's dabbing her concealer. She literally like taps. Normally, I know people drag, like I used to drag my concealer. Guys, are you seeing that? Are you seeing how that's blending? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've learned something from each other. Normally how I do my concealer, I'll, I wouldn't let it dry, I'll just start blending. I'm about to get technical right now. She lets her concealer sit. She does that so that you have control over the concealer. So now like how I'm concealing it, like my concealer is not moving, it's still. So I literally have control of the concealer. She either got her foundation brush or the brush she used to contour to kind of like re-blend. Oh baby, look at that already. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm glowing. I love how she's always be blending. Like, why do you want to look by different shades? Do not be afraid to like go back and forth, mix and blend, make sure that things are actually blended out. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna finish blending off the concealer how I see Uche do it, and then we're gonna move on to whatever she does next. I don't like using blending brushes. Not blending brush, um, sponges because I feel like it takes makeup off. So if you want to know, I use Laura Mercier setting stingy, but she uses Huda Beauty, so I was thinking, okay, it smells so flipping good. Sorry guys, she uses a sponge, and I normally use a brush, but we'll see how it looks. <laughs> I think I overly set my face. I look crazy. It looks a bit ashy. Hopefully, each age next step is going to take me out of this squad. Her next step is to powder contour. I normally just contour my face. I don't do like two contours. I kind of use like a contour palette and go over it with that. And then I'm going to go over it with a bronzer because i don't have what she's using i'm going to use my morph brush that i use for my bronzer do the bronzer she kind of just sweeps it the contouring with she kind of rubs it that's what she does use any bronzer you like and i like to sweep it on using a smear i think this is a 118 it's rubbed off but a charlotte tilbury bronzer on the other side what she's done now she's basically added the bronzer onto her nose contour Right now, I literally just copied her nose technique. She said she defines it and she goes inside. So that's what I literally done. I don't normally do that. I can see the definition of my nose now. I really like that, actually. I can't lie to you. She kind of like drags her blush like all over her face. I'm going to copy. Let me go back. Definition in there. This bit, you can definitely skip this inside the nose. It's like kind of my thing. I just love it. I'm gonna and she's gone ahead and prepped her eyelids with concealer. So I'm gonna do the same. 
one thing about copying someone that does makeup they they have a technique you can literally do the same thing i feel like you just need to keep practicing because it might not turn out exactly the same this is not even eyeshadow i'm mean, literally using my contour palette and then she went on to do like a little light one in the middle so let me see what brand this is i might have done a lot hold on babe how did you just leave me how can you just she just went off camera and done everything. Okay, so I'm gonna just take my own initiative. I think when she came off camera, I think she sprayed her face and done her beauty spot. So today I'm gonna be wearing my lashes. I'm gonna be wearing, I wanna wear Exposed or do I wanna wear Diva? So today I'm gonna be wearing Diva in the Choice Collection. You can get Diva online in its own pack or you can get it in the Khaleesi pack. The Khaleesi pack has all three of the lashes. <laughs> is the complete look all i went to go do off camera is i went to go add these lashes these lashes are for my diva collection the only shit lashes that look like individual I went to go do a new lip combo so this was to see if i could do my birthday makeup i don't know guys i feel like i could do it i don't know i don't know if this looks birthday-ish but let's just test yeah let me just test my friends and be like okay i'm gonna call i'm gonna be like guys this is my birthday makeup look do you think i can do my birthday makeup Shelly. Good day. Yeah, yeah. Myself, I've practiced. Oh, damn. What are you saying? Good day. <laughs> I've got a on me. Oh. You don't need anybody to do your makeup. Are you sure? Mm hmm It's just proper smooth. I just copied some girl's makeup page, but you don't like it. I was like, your uh, one. You like how do my makeup better than this? Well, what's um, different that you don't like? It's not that I don't like it. You are beautiful, but um, there's just a lot of silver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. But you prefer my own makeup? Of course. This is my makeup, though. Yeah, but this, you've done it differently, though. I like it, you know. She looks nice. I, I don't know why I called him silvery, like, just cop look me. I think the only thing that he done nice was told me to tie back my hair, because I think that's cute. So, guys, this was just to literally see if I could do my own birthday makeup. And I don't know, I feel like I could. I feel like, you know when you do something nice the first time, will I be able to redo this on the day? Because if it doesn't turn out like this, I'll be upset. But I'm contemplating, I'm contemplating. I really want my makeup to bang. I'm not trying to take any risk, but I feel like I did okay. I genuinely like how this makeup look looks. I feel like it looks more intertwined. It looks, just looks more soft. I hope you guys like it. I feel like I enjoy doing that. I feel like I enjoy copying people's makeup look. The only annoying thing is if I do not have what they have, I'm going to get really annoyed, which is why I feel like I can't do it. But if you like these lashes, make sure you click the link below and purchase yours, period. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Yes, sir. And then that is so fucking embarrassing. I have to look at my teeth.